Magnum friends. Tuesday night. Dixie Bell. Welcome, welcome. Guys, when you join me, just let me know where you're watching from. Say hi to me. For those who don't know me, my name is Angela. Uh, hi, Donna. Mm, hi, Johnny. Hi, Sissy. So, guys, my name is Angela. I'm the owner and creator of Energy from Elton Helden. I'm an um, elite retailer for Dixie Bell over here in Frankfurt, in Germany. I also am the German distribution for Dixie Bell. So, um, I'm happy when you join me. Um, and just let me know if you're painting along with me. On the menu tonight, we do have a mirror, which already has some, well, I got it because it's a seahorse on there. You know, I've got, I don't know, a thousand seahorses. The other elements, they are pretty strange. <clears throat> so, I couldn't take them off uh, without breaking it. Hi, Nicole. Um, hi Georgina, hi Nina, thank you guys for being with me. Hi Jill, thank you for joining. So, um, so this is pretty strange. So, this is going to be updated. I've brought some Woody bands. I'm going to bring those pills. I'm going to bring those pills. I've got some Woody bands to um enhance those a little bit, and this is the um 2447, which is this one, Instagram. And that's what they are, how they are packed now, you know, it's like two in a pair and pretty solid. So nothing can happen to them. And we have the 2150. So which is that one? Those are the two we're going to use. Now I know what I forgot to bring. <laughs> Always something. I was just thinking for sure I forgot something. But as I have everything pretty close to me, that was quick. That was quick. Because I want to, I have to cut one a little bit. The other ones are going to be fine. So I've got some woody bands. I have some wood glue. I have mermaid tail because this is going to be a pretty simple finish. Oh, hi, Susan. First time watching. Thank you for joining. So this is a pretty easy project we're doing tonight. So um, only one color, which is unusual for me. Mermaid tail. And we're going to... Add some interest with best thing wax in white. So let's get going. I'll put everything to the side that I don't need at the moment. Then I'm going to have a zip of coffee. It is 9 p.m. over here. Hi, Dixie Bell. So Dixie Bell will be here to help us out. So for those who don't know, Woody Band, Woody Band are made out of wood when they are in a cold state. I'm going to bring you a little closer now. So you're going to go flying. There you go. So that you can see what I do. You don't need to see me. And hang on, this is all wonky. That's better. It's better, I think. There you go. Bonsoir, Michelle. Ça va? Ça va en France? So, um, I have some wood glue to apply those wood bands. You need just some regular wood glue. Oh, and I just wanted to show you. You can take, there's the mirror underneath. You can see the mirror being here. I've just put some um, um, cardboard underneath so I don't um, have to clean too much later. I could have taken it out, but I was too lazy. So I just uh, pushed those things underneath. You can take a deck of cards also. Hi, Amber. Thank you for joining. That works beautifully. So as I said, this looks pretty strange. I've cleaned it nicely with white lightning. This hasn't been painted by me. This came like that. So I just cleaned it with white lightning so that it's nice and clean. And I'm going to uh, paint later on straight over it. So wood glue. Take some, use some um, glue of good quality. So, and the plan is the, um, I have to check the numbers, the 2447. They are gonna go next to those funny elements, whatever they are supposed to be. And this was already on the criddle, so they are nice and bendy. That's why they're called Would You Bend? Hello, Vera. And, um, you can warm them up either with a hairdryer, as I said, I had them on a criddle with a hairdryer, 
with a heat gun on a criddle. I had it on a criddle because that's uh, quicker. So now I'm just applying some um, wood glue on the back. You could see I had my criddle on too hot. So <laughs> it is a little, a little charred. So then I'm sticking it next to those very strange items. So take the next one, put it right next to it. If you have too much glue on there and the glue squeezes out on the sides, don't worry. Wood glue is um, water-based. You just take a damp cloth or a, a baby wipe and take it off like that. So, number two. And just put that there, press it nicely on there. If you feel they are already stiffening up while you uh, push it down, just take your hairdryer or your heat gun and heat it back up to make sure that it snuggles itself nicely onto the surface. So as they have been pretty nicely warm, this is gonna work like this. can see when I press it down, there is still some wood glue coming out. So this is a sign that this is snuggling itself nicely on. So those two are on. Do the same thing on the top here. The other two. And the woody bands, as I said, when they are cold, you can drill them, you can sand them, you can saw them if you want to. Um, and when they are warm, you can cut them, you can bend them. So very, very versatile. And the nice thing is you can shape them around any surface or any shape. If you want to have a bottle or something like that, or you have um, um, a table or something like that, and you want to have some trims going around. They come in hundreds of uh, different shapes and you find them on a Dixieville page. So make sure you check those out. They are amazing. So, and you can paint them perfectly with the Dixieville paints. You can paint them before you apply them. You can paint them afterwards. And Dixieville paints are perfect for painting the woody bands because Dixieville paints especially chalk removal paints and the silk paints, they are um, flexible paints. So the paint won't crack when you bend it around um, corners or something like that. You could bend it around here also. So um, that works beautifully. So on also, I would say they already looks totally different. So when you have questions, guys, just put them in the comments and <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I will see that I answer those straight away. Also, when you watch a replay, um, just put your comments or your, your questions in there and tag me so I know that you had a question. So and also now make sure that you put a question mark behind it when I fly over the comments later on. If I missed one, I am going to see. Okay, missed one. So now this one, you see how nice and bendy they are. When you apply the glue, just make sure you cover the whole surface to make sure that all areas can adhere to your project. So and I'm just using them on this piece here to well, to give it a different look because um, those funny things on there, they're pretty strange. I try to take them off. So this one is going to go there. I try to take them off. So, but they have been fighting me. So I thought I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to force it. Um, do we have some water? Yeah, some water. 
water. Some water, so I'm just using my Mr. Bubble and just because um, you can also take the wood glue, there's excess wood glue, you can take it off with a damp brush, especially when you have um, ornaments which are pretty intricate. You can see. You can see in here in those edges it is pretty difficult to get into it with um with a with the baby wipe so you just take a damp brush and then you can clean it off inside that's it even so the glue is going to dry um clear at the end this is tight bond i'm using which you can also get on the dixie dot page There you go. And just very, very quickly sticking those things on there just to give that whole piece a complete different look. And as I said, you can paint it before and I'm going to paint them afterwards and you can use basically any paint. You could also stain them with the um, Voodoo gel stain or the no paint gel stain. You can use the gilding waxes on them. You can use the metallics on them. Just any of the Dixie Bird products. Could even age them a little more with some sea spray. So very, very versatile. So let's see, this one is gonna go here. As I said, if they have cooled down and you feel they're stiffening up, make sure you heat them back up and um, so that they have good contact with the whole surface. And even, you know, um, if you can apply them also onto a mirror, for example, and don't you believe that a mirror is completely flat. So especially push down the edges because basically it's supposed to look like it was carved out of the fall at the end. So, oh. <laughs> uh, Tammy. Yes, with cotton I would use white. That's correct, because then it's easier to, to cover at the end. So, I mean, it always depends a little on the look you're going for. If you want to send back at the end, um, it might be better to use um, clear one, but um, it depends on the look you're going for. But if you want to distress back, it might be easier to use... Um, the clear one because then you reveal the wood underneath um, quicker and easier than if there's like already a coat of, of white underneath. But if you want to have a solid white coat, um, I would use white boss. So next one, just going to go here. Nice and swirly. They look a little wavy, which goes, I think, pretty well with the look of this mirror. So and you can see I'm really pressing down really hard and I'm not compromising any of the details of those wood events. This is one of the greatest benefits if you, especially wanna, if you want to shape those onto uh, a non-even surface because if you use um, paper clay or something like that you can't push on them you have to wait till they are dry before you paint them and we shall carry on right after I have those up. so now on this areas here there's like two smaller spaces so I'm going to cut the woody band apart. So 
I just got like a, a sharp knife and I'm just cutting it in the middle. There you go. So, and if I would like to cover those edges, I could sand them down, but um, I'm not bothered with this one. So this one is gonna go here and that one is gonna go there. That's it, quickly. Then we have the woody bands applied, ready with that. And then we get the paint out. So I didn't um, bother checking for a bleed or something like that as this piece is painted white anyway. So I don't think, I'm not sure. I don't know what kind of paint is on there. So I don't know. I just know it's not shiny or anything. So I'm going to paint straight over it. And the last piece. I'm working pretty quick tonight, which is um, quite unusual for me. So. Just down there, so it was supposed to look, but they fit stiffen up. So I'm just gonna get my heat gun to make sure that they cover the surface. Sorry for the noise. Pressing it down. So the woody bands, they need about the same time to cool down like they needed to heat up. And obviously the thicker a piece is, the um, thicker a piece is, the quicker, uh, the, um, the longer it takes to heat up. The quicker. Hey, hey. Concentration, Mrs. Bailey, concentration. So I'm going to check for your co um, comments in a minute. So put everything to the side I don't need. So it's going to show you that quickly. So that looks now already completely different. A little wild, but uh, I'm going to show you in a second where we go. So now we're going to get the paint out. Put everything to the side where I'm painting. Glue on my fingers. So let me see. Mm. Angry faces again. Okay. All right. All right, Ember. Thank you for being with me anyway. So, now I have the mermaid tail, chalk mineral paint by Dixie Bell, and I'm going to get my icing spatula, which I have in the kitchen, I think. Grab another one. Just to mix those up, make sure you mix your um, the chalk mineral paints up nicely. They are VRC free. They are water based. They've got no smell to them whatsoever. So very easy to use. And there we go. Okay. So I have my, for painting, I have my French tip brush also by Dixie Girl. So, hi to Oklahoma, thank you for joining me. And let's see, put there for now. Pull up quickly. Guys, if you have questions, put them in the comments. And if you haven't done it yet, please pop over to my page and leave me a like there. That would be fantastic. So, 
So, who's used Mama Tail before? Whose favorite color is it like mine? So, so the reason I've chosen the French tip brush is because I want to get in all those details of the of that um, those ornaments. If you have a very intricate piece, you could use some water to help the paint basically um, moving or dripping into it, moving easier into all those crevices. And I don't need um, like um, an even surface. If this is like a little rustic, that's perfect. That's perfect. I'm going to need two coats. So let's see if we get that finished. So and as there are all those details, I'm just dipping my brush, grabbing a little paint at the time. Going in swirly motions to make sure I hit all the details. And cat is snoring again, sorry guys. Uh, as I said before, I, I grabbed this uh, mirror only because there's like one seahorse on there. And I didn't really notice those um, pretty strange other bits and pieces, which uh, I don't know. But anyhow, they for sure, they thought something about it, <laughs> put it on there. So. But this is already looking completely different, especially with this mermaid tail. So, it is a happy color, isn't it? I mean, even fall is around the around the corner, so to say. That's how you say it in German. I don't know if that's a correct expression in English, but. Um, that's how you say that. And um, so here we go. Quickly around, swirly motion around those ornaments. So, and the um, French tip brush has got uh, natural bristles. So, if you want to create a little texture on here, that's a good brush also. Do that all the way around. You don't always have to use loads of colors to get like a fun finish. Squeaky table, still squeaky table. Linda is around, she's going to recommend me again to use some WD-40, which I have, but um, not on hand. There's a little white left. That's not um, too bad as we're going to use white wax anyway. So. First coat almost done. It's a time, half an hour. Pretty good. Pretty good. Sorry for the squeaking, guys. 
Also, just add a cut over here. You can see how great those paints come on. I mean, this is the first coat only. And honestly, if I wanted to, I could leave it like that as we are going to use some white wax anyway. So, um, I'm wondering what those angry faces are about. There's always sometimes there's some strange people are sneaking around. It must be interesting if it's on my page or on the um, YouTube end or on the um, Dixie Doll page. So, okay, that's the first coat. So now you would let it dry for about one to two hours before you continue. Those paints dry pretty, pretty quick. So I'm going to dry it with a hairdryer. The, one of the great benefits of those um, of the Dixie Bell chalk mineral paints is um, you can you can use them straight on your project. You don't need to sand or something like that. Um, you can paint straight onto your wood, and they are self leveling, meaning during the drying um, process the brush strokes will level themselves out. Obviously, when I'm using a heat gun right now, I'm going to interrupt this, um, this process. So just uh, be aware of that. Me and um, other artists on the Dixie Bell page, we sometimes use a hairdryer or something like that on heat gun just so that um, we can carry on. So I'm drying that quickly now. Get my gun. Yes, Nina, it's a wooden frame, yeah. Thank you, Becky. So those wood events, they take basically the interest of those strange um, bits on them. So let's come in with a second coat. So this is, by the way, this is the biggest jar of paint you can get from Dixie Bell. Those are 32 um, ounces. And then they do have like a middle size with 16 and a small size with eight. And uh, they last very, very, very long. A little goes a long way with all Dixie Bell products. Little goes a long way. So go. Leaky table. So, and even this was white underneath, it's like two coats, 
have full coverage. But if I miss some spots in those details, but um, everything else is like covered solid. What's the time? 33 minutes. That's pretty good. I'm going to get that bugger finished in no time. I mean, how quickly can you make up a project like this? So, maybe in the frame. I missed the spot there, I missed the spot there. And then something is like this, um, those different, but as I said, as there's going to be some white wax on there to give it like a real faded beachy look. again coats finished. Woody man's two coats, 30 minutes. So I should close that no I should throw that box sealed from the lid. That so I'm going to check quickly for some questions and I'm going to draw it and then we're going to get some white bags. Sorry guys. And bumping you there. Mm. Oh, thank you, Lisa. That's very sweet. <laughs> that's very sweet. Well, it's not it's not matching I'm doing, but um, um, I hope this helps. So um, that's great. Hmm. Madeleine, the finished dull, um, it's not dull, it's um, the chalk mineral paints, they dry with a flat finish, like a typical chalk paint, chalk mineral paint finish. So, um, but if you, if you want to have a different look, there's products by Dixie Bell where you can change the look, basically. The main thing is that they are VOC free um they're safe to use indoors so that's one of the great benefits so drying it again get some wax on there again you should let that dry on its own bristle there the paint. So obviously when you work this wax on top of that the paint should be dry. See and
So now when we get to the Best Stain Wax by Dixie Bell. As I would like to keep a, a flat finish to this, um, I'm going to use the Best Stain Wax. Susan, you use Boss when you have either um, a bleeder um, or a very smelly piece. So Boss is a, um, an odor and a stain blocker. So um, that's when you use Boss. So, and um, only uh, when you work with, um, when you work with um, light colors. With dark colors, it doesn't matter if there's some bleed uh, through from the from the wood underneath. But when you work with um, when you work with uh, white uh, light colors like white or light pink or something like that. So, best thing wax in white. The furniture waxes by Dixie Bell, um, they are uh, water-based. So this is the white wax I'm using and I'm going to put, let's see, and I work with colored waxes. to put the best stain wax in clear onto it first the reason being um, you can control the chalk mineral paints uh, are open pores so which means everything you put on top they will grab so if you want to control it you either seal it first or you put um, some wax on first so this is the best thing wax in clear this is the best thing wax in white so spot the difference spot the difference on on the seal so um this is you're going to see in a second this is also the great thing about the um about the chalkman or uh, the best thing waxes by dixie bell that's the right i'm just going to make sure that i put the right lid to the right project um the nice thing is when you apply it, you can see where you've applied it. Hi, Jill. So I have, I'm taking the, um, Dixie will help me. I've just got like, my brain is just stuck. Brain's just stuck. Um, but anyhow, I dedicate one brush to, to each wax. So I to do, um, mark them and uh, go from there so i'm going to use as i said i'm going to use the clear wax first and you can see where you've applied it and if you have too much product on there you can just like spread it out easier obviously on white you can't see the white but usually the um clear waxes or neutral waxes um clear so basically you not seeing um so the paint is still a little wet so i'm going to take myself some of the wax out into the lid because i don't wanna i don't wanna contaminate my my wax i don't wanna tint it you can tint your wax so you could do that, obviously, as this is water-based, but uh, I don't want to tint it in the jar. Okay, hi Grete, thank you for joining. Hallo Nicole, danke schön. So. so, as I said, you can use the clear wax for tinting. 
can make your own colored wax. And I'm basically just sealing, just sealing this project first before I come in with my white wax to finish them off. And all products I'm using, you can get um, from Dixiebel, including the um, Woody Bands. Check for your local retailer, pop to their page. So Dixiebel, if you can just like um, add the, the link to the local retailer page. Dixiebel, you can get all over the world. So. So you can see even this wasn't completely dry or oh, I didn't have much time to dry it, see that way. It worked out pretty nicely. So. Sorry for the noise. But this will probably be, like every time you hear the squeaking, you know, it's me. The bell brush, now I've got it. It's the bell brush. Oh my. So. And I like using that for uh, waxing. And I don't clean the brush out because I use, I have it, uh, I have like one brush for each color wax. Makes my life easier. So, now I'm all the way around. As I said, this is the clear wax. It looks white in some spots, but um, only where it's very thick, it is, um, it is drying clear. It's just as long as it's um, wet, you can see where you've applied it, which is a great help. Side for now. So obviously this time I have to clean the brush out because this is now contaminated a little with the um, mermaid tail. So I've got a clean it's just like a, a t-shirt. Lint free, lint free. I hope it's lint free. So I'm buffing it a little in. I'm taking the excess a little more back. And the reason I've put the clear wax underneath, you can put the white wax on there straight away if you want to, but um, it'll be a little harder to take back. So if you, like me, a control freak, who is a control freak out there? Any control freaks with me? It is easier to do it this way around. Because it's, I find it easier to apply a little more than having to take back too much at the end. So I'm just taking the excess off now. Usually you would leave it on for about 20 minutes and then you buff it. And buffing means you just like take a cloth or something like that and you just rub it in and you take off the excess at the same time don't have that time so this will do so and now I come in with my brush in white that's the wax in white and my white wax which I'm also going to put a little out because I don't want to tint my white wax also obviously you can tint it also you want to have some lighter colors and there we go. So the paint only comes off because this is not obviously not completely dry. This is like two coats of paint. Would you bend two coats of paint? So I put some of the wax in my brush and to make sure there is no lumps, I'm just like rubbing it in into the brush. There's some to go from there.
So now I'm going over it again. So with colored waxes, you basically enhance the um, low lights. So I'm pushing it right into all those crevices, which I want to enhance. Going over the whole piece. I'm going to work in sections so that the wax doesn't dry on me. So don't just put it on and come back in whatever in two hours, you know, do some shopping, some coffee drinking and stuff and try to take it off afterwards you be in trouble because it starts drying after 20 minutes it is pretty hard to take it back off so i'm making row for row get it into those crevices and same thing now i'm grabbing my cloth and taking the excess off there we go to leave the white on there to give it like a faded beachy look you can see how easy i can take this back now i can take back as much or as little as i want But even if it's still too much, you can use um, a damp cloth or something like that. As I said, the um, best thing waxes are water-based. So also, so as we do have pretty much intricate like those areas there i'm just grabbing another small brush and feathering it a little out so it's like not those harsh so it looks a little more natural go There. So, as I said, you take back as little or as much as you like. Do that straight away. Don't let it sit too long. Otherwise, it will be pretty difficult. I am hurrying so I can reveal you full project. Guys, time always flies. Time always flies. If you haven't done it yet, guys, Master of Disaster hashtag is my second name, so to say. Pop over to my page. Leave me a like there. I do a couple of lives in English a week and in German also. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments in your mother tongue. I will try to answer those. Google Translator is so great for that. So, Google Translator is great for that. So, There we go. Take it back. I'm going to bring that up to you so you can see what I mean a little closer with the um, with those edges. Because obviously with that plus, I can't get into all the edges and stuff. So, 
this might be, I'm just going to bring that, bring that up to you. And I'll grab my artist brush. You can see up here that it's like, you know, it's not very smooth to finish. So I'm just basically just taking this brush and going around the edges and feathering it a little out. So it looks a little more natural. And I'm not worried. This is one of my artist brushes that um, as the wax is water based, I can clean that out easily and um, use it for a different um, purpose again. So now over it. It's a time. Okay, I'll let you go for now. I'll post the finished project, but you know which way we are going. Fifty-five minutes. We had some booty bands. We had some chalk mineral paints, and so there we go. There we go. Okay. Let's check for some questions. Ah, oh, my friends. So, okay, I'm going to turn that around so you can see that. So there you can really see the difference between the areas which are um, already white waxed and the other areas without. And this is to enhance basically the, um, the high spots. And I think this looks already completely different to what it was before. So, okay, let's see. Do I see some questions marks? Mm. <laughs> Belber, thank you, Dixie Bell. Okay, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you like that. This is just like a very simple, quick project. Uh, you could use some gilding wax on top. So, Dankeschön, liebe Andrea, Dankeschön. <laughs> um, so, that's quick and simple and easy. Only one type, one paint color. So, um, Dankeschön, Sissi, ganz lieb. Oh, Nikki, thank you so much. Oh, that's so sweet. I thank you. Guys, thank you so much for being with me tonight. My name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm an elite retailer for, for Dixie Bell over here in Frankfurt in Germany. Um, also the German distribution for Dixie Bell uh, on Instagram. I can see one of our German retailers. So I'm happy she is watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, pop over to my page, leave me a like there and follow me. And I see you again next week for a new project. I will post that um, so you can see the finished project. And I thank you so much for being with me. Yes, Jan, I was thinking about the chameleon waxes also. So <laughs> I'm probably going to put that on there. Great idea. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for being with me. Bye-bye. Tschüss, Instagram.